Coral Draw Suite is one of the best image designers out there. And if you edit vectors, I think it's the best choice for you. So let me show you what you're going to get once you get Coral Draw. Hey, what's up, everyone? So when you get Coral Draw Suite, you're not just getting the Coral Draw application. You're getting access to other applications that come bundled into that suite. So I definitely think it's a great choice if you are into image designing. Now, don't mistake this with an online image designer, which is super basic compared to this. Now, when you buy Coral Draw, you'll get access to these four main components, which is Coral Draw, which is the application that you download available for Mac and Windows, Coral Photo Paint, which is awesome for editing images. You get Coral Draw Web, which is personally my favorite because you get access to practically all the features that you get in Coral Draw, but in the website without having to install the application. And you also get access to Coral Font Manager. So if you're into fonts, that is a great choice for you. Now, as I mentioned, you get access to the Coral Draw application and you get access to the Coral Draw web application. So let's get started with the web application because I think this is super interesting because you're going to be able to edit your image designs and vectors through this. Now, as I mentioned before, don't mistake this with your ordinary image editor out there that's online. This is super complete compared to online image designers. Now, right now, I just opened this template design and I'm able to edit every single aspect of this design through the web application. So that means that I don't have to install anything. This is working on the website. I get access to the tab and I can open up more designs right here and I get all the editing features available here on the right, including the extra tools that come bundled into each one of these sections. So if I want to crop, I get access to several features. If I want to use the paintbrush, well, I get the paintbrush features here. And if I select, for example, this paintbrush that says artistic media, I'm able to start writing right here and it designs and I can change the shape and style everything straight from the web application without having to install anything. I'm able to edit practically everything right here without using the downloaded application, which is, I think is a great option. Now, Coral Draw comes with a bunch of features that is way better than other image designers out there. Take, for example, if I want to edit the vector design, I'm able to do it right here. I'm able to move everything. If I want to add some text in the outline of this design, I'm able to do it right here really easily with Coral Draw. So I'm going to select the text right here and I'm going to select the edge of this vector design and I'm going to start typing right here. So I'm going to say, hello, I am a text, right? So if I start typing, it's going to follow all the outline every single place that this has in the designer. So it's pretty cool that this is super easy to do here on Coral Draw, something that would be super complicated in another image designer. Plus, it's not going to follow along. You might add a circle and it'll follow the circle, but it won't follow every single piece of the outline using text. So this is way more robust, more powerful than what you would get normally with other designers. Now, if I want to edit this object from the vector, I can double click on it and I can start moving the curves however I want. This is just going to be super easy here on Coral Draw. I mean, even if, even if it doesn't look good right now, the possibilities are practically endless with this. Now, let's just say that I'm going to add an object like a square right here, and I want to move this object to make it look different. I just don't want a plain square. Well, I can go to this option here and I can choose how I want to move this. For example, if I want to smear this, I get this tool. I can change the size over here on the top left and I can smear the curves of this. So let me go ahead and select it. Here we go. And I'm going to start smearing it. That's going to be unique. So if I need to edit a logo, a design, and I want to do something that I can't do somewhere else because, well, you won't be able to do this on an online image designer unless you use Coral Draw Web or the Coral Draw application, which makes it super interesting. So that's just one of the ways that you can start using Coral Draw. And you get all the available tools right here, including paint brushes, the paint styles. You can do a lot of things here. For example, you get all these available paint brushes that show you how they are going to display and you can start using it right away to make really great designs. Now, each time that you select an object or do something with an object, the properties are going to be displayed on the right for each one of these, including colors, sizes, transparency, curves, etc. You can do everything straight from here from the Coral app. Another thing that I would find interesting for using Coral instead of using another application is the option for printers. So if you have a printer company where you start printing all the things, printing here is super powerful. So if I go to the printing options, you get general options like you would normally anywhere else, uh, color options, composite, 
So if I need to use the composite tool because I need to print this to make stickers, well, I can do it here. For example, how many do I want page across? I'm going to say a six and I want to go all the way up to five. So as many as I can fit, or I can choose predefined sizes here, the document page size, use the size, double sided page preview here, and just do a lot of things that will help me with my printing business. So that's another option there. And yes, you can do way more things with the printing options than what I've just showed you right now. You got layouts, uh, pre-press, no issues. You also have options to save this to cloud. So if I want to save this to cloud and edit on the web designer from Coral, I can do so uh, later on. So I can go ahead and save it and jump into my web browser and start editing from there. Now, if I want to export this, I have several options available. So I don't have to stick with Coral Draw. I can do with PDF, popular ones like PNG, SVG, WebP. I even get AI for Adobe Illustrator, BMP, Cal, and just so many options to export. So you don't have to stick with the CDR file from Coral Draw. So if you want to do images, switch it over to Adobe Illustrator. That is possible through the export options. Now, this is just touching the surface of what Coral Draw can do, but it has so many tools that you can practically dedicate days of recording to show you everything that it can do. So for what you're going to pay for Coral Draw Suite and everything that you're going to get, it is definitely worth it, especially if you are working with vector designs. So definitely check it out. Link provided in the description. Definitely recommend it. So if you need to edit images, go ahead and check out Coral Draw Suite. And that's a wrap.